I got asked this question a little while ago, and that is, how can I see my own activity on my Google account? How do I view it, and how far back can I go? Now, it also aligns with another question, and that is, can my boss at my company or my school or my teacher uh, through my Google Workspace or Google Education account see this information? Let me show you what you can see and how to manage it, and then I'll talk about how others could see it. So here I am, I'm in my, my uh, Google account, and I'm simply at myaccount.google.com. Myaccount.google.com is where I'm at. You can see right there in the URL. Now, how do you see what data you have? Go to data and privacy, and scroll down here to history settings. Now you can see I have web and app activity turned on. I have location history turned on. I do not have YouTube history turned on, but let me turn that on and show you what happens when you turn it on. So when I click to turn that on, you, uh, Google's saying, hey, do you want to turn it on? It's off right now. And so I can say, turn it on. Now watch what happens when I turn it on. Now it's saying, confirming, do I truly want to turn it on? It's confirming again. So I'm going to say, turn it on. Now look what it asks. It asks me to look at these related controls, such as set up auto delete for your YouTube history. Let's look at that. Click on it. And it says right here, I can auto delete activity that's older than three months, 18 months, or 36 months. So if I want to get rid of that activity, then I would select 36 months. If I don't want to get rid of it at all, I'm going to hit don't auto delete. So that, that data stays in my, uh, my, my Google account. This is not staying in your browser. This is staying in your Google account. Now I'm going to hit next. And uh, confirm your purpose to keep your activity until you delete it manually. I can delete it now. And I can hit confirm. Now, it also says other related controls are set up the web and app history or location history. Now, let me go see what I had there. I had that for auto delete at 18 months. Let's not do that. Let's hit don't auto delete and let's hit next. And there's nothing to delete. Hit confirm. Now I had the other web app history. I didn't do that one. I also had that one set for 18 months. Let me turn that one to don't auto delete and hit next and then hit confirm. Now I've got all this done. Now if I go to data and privacy, if I scroll down, you'll see I have all of three of these turned on and I don't have them deleting at all. Now I can hit my activity and I can see all of the activity all the way back to when I turned this account on. Now I only had web uh, activity, didn't have YouTube activity on, but you can see I, I'm going all scrolling all the way back. I'm in July 17th. Uh, let's see if I can how far back I can go. I've had this account for many years now. I'm at June 23rd. So I, I don't know how far I can scroll back, assumably, for what I was saving. I should be able to scroll back all the way to the beginning. And that was, it says April 17th, which maybe I was playing around with then. I turned it on at, on April 17th. So the bottom line is you should be, should be able to see everything. That's April, May, June, July, August, September. That's five months right there. It's September 14th. So anyway, what I want to show with you, let me go all the way back to the beginning, close this stuff down. Under data and privacy, you can turn on your history savings uh, settings to collect web and app, app activity, location history, and YouTube history. And if you don't auto delete it, it's all going to be under your myaccount.google.com. Now let's talk about the other question that's relevant to this, and that is, can others see this data? Can the administrators of a Google Workspace or the administrators of a Google Education domain see your activity? Bottom line, the answer is no, unless they log in to your Google account. And logging into your Google account would mean they would likely have to change or ask for your password. And if you had two-factor authentication enabled, they'd have to get past that as well. So the answer is most likely no. Again, unless they change your password, turned off two-factor authentication, or asked you for access to your account. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. Pay attention to what data you're saving, why you are saving it, and so that you can use it where you need to and delete it if you don't.